Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today we're going to be covering big commerce pricing. How much does big commerce cost? So guys, without further ado, if you want to follow along and help support the channel, there is a first link down in the description box below that will take you right over to a big commerce free trial where you can get signed up today and start your 15 day trial today for big commerce. You can start your free trial. So like I said, if you want to support the channel, that is an affiliate link. It does help out the channel. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into big commerce pricing, what that looks like, comparing the different plans so that you can find and figure out and best compare and find the best e-commerce platform for you today. So guys, the first thing to understand with big commerce is there really are two different types of platforms that they offer. They offer their enterprise level solutions as well as just the essentials. Now, most people People watching this video probably are just looking for the essentials so that's what we're gonna dive into first and foremost like I said so as you can see here you know you can start your free trial first link down in the description box below will get you signed up with that 15 day free trial for big commerce so as you can see here the pricing plans as follows and this is accurate as of the time of recording this video like I said these are subject these are subject to change so depending on when you're watching this video they may be slightly different but this is the current pricing models based on the time of making today's video. So you have the standard plan, the plus plan, the pro plan, and then you have enterprise, which like I said, we're gonna look at a little bit uh, later in this video. For most people, you're probably just looking at that standard rate, which currently is $29.95 a month. Then you have the plus plan at $79.95 a month. Then you have the pro plan at $299.95 per month. So each of them come with pros and cons as well and different levels and tiers depending on where your business is currently at, where your sales are standing at. So every different e-commerce platform kind of has a different way of tiering out their plans as to what benefits uh, and and reason why you may want to go with uh, you know the standard, the plus or the pro. Um, these pricing plans with big commerce, I would say are most comparable to a Shopify. Uh, if you're familiar with Shopify, then big commerce really like pricing plan wise, very, very similar, uh, pricing strategy. However, the plan, uh, tiers are broken down a bit differently, uh, as well. We're going to be diving into the specifics, uh, on this pricing plan page as well. Uh, depending on your business, you may want to go with, each different plan. It really depends on where you're currently at, where you're looking to scale, uh, what your current sales volume is. Really, a lot of the big commerce pricing plan differences uh, depend on the total sales volume that you have. That's kind of like the biggest difference. The most, the majority of the rest of the features are fairly similar. So as you can see, uh, included in all plans. So you have uh, we're going to be breaking these down each uh, step by step here. So for the standard plus and the pro, uh, as you can see here, and then they also have enterprise uh, here as well for uh, comparing the different uh, different plans. So yes, yeah, so as you can see here, diving right in, included in all plans, you have no additional transaction fees, so zero across the board there. Uh, as you can see across the different uh, payment providers, they do have a lot of different. Uh, payment gateways and uh, payment processing options. Uh, I've done many videos on the channel covering uh, many of these different types of payment providers as far as what solutions you may look at. Look at. Some of those could include, you know, PayPal uh, as an option, uh, various different payment providers uh, that you can select uh, for your business. So as you can see, there's no additional fee for utilizing those other payment processing uh, networks. You also have unlimited products, file storage, and bandwidth. So that is really nice. Uh, different than maybe a traditional hosting plan that you may run into if, you, say, for example, you were with WooCommerce or something. So, uh, and and these are really all pretty key features to understand if you're looking maybe to migrate to big commerce, uh, or maybe if you're brand new as a beginner and just looking to get started with an e-commerce store. Uh, then that's also key key things to know there as well. Staff accounts they give you unlimited of those, so that's really really nice. Um, as well as far as sales channels, you, of course you have to have your online storefront. That's the whole point of big commerce in the first place right? Your online storefront. Uh, then you have point of sale as well. Uh, so you can connect with POS systems such as like a Square, Venn, Clover, uh, and, and many more as well. So you have your point of sale systems. Uh, you also have the ability to sell through 
you know, Amazon, eBay, Walmart, uh, Facebook and Instagram, as well as Google Shopping. So that's included in all the different plans, uh, as you can see here. As far as the different features, all right, mobile responsive, big importance there, the big commerce mobile apps, so you can track your sales on the go. That's pretty nice. Of course, you have your single page checkout, uh, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Amazon Pay, not spending too much time on this aspect right here, coupons, discounts, and gift cards. Uh, that's all included across the board. Multi-currency, real-time shipping quotes, professional reporting tools, a built-in blog, uh, so you can you know do that as well. Uh, so you can provide content, uh, product ratings and reviews, uh, HTTPS and SSL. Uh, you also have shipper HQ shipping rules. So, you know, you can depend on qu uh, quoting and shipping rules depending on where your customers are located. And, you know, that is available as well. So here is where things start to break down a little bit differently, uh, depending on if you are on the standard plan, the plus plan or the pro plan. Uh, all these other features are really nice that big commerce includes those on all the different plans because a lot of other e-commerce platforms out there, I will tell you, don't include all those things on all plans. Some of them are mostly tiered up. So it's nice that they include quite a lot of features just even within the standard plan. Uh, as well. And uh, another thing to mention too, uh, before we dive into the other features is that you can save up to 10% as well when you pay annually. Uh, but that is only available on the plus and pro plans. So, you know, if you're looking to sign up and, and uh, get locked in, then that's another option you have as well. Uh, if you want to save a little bit of money, then you can uh, pay annually uh, as well, but that's only going to save you on the plus and the pro plan. So uh, there's that difference there. Uh, pricing difference as well uh, so it does save you you know up to 10 percent which is nice uh, if you're looking to commit anyway so the difference is as you can see here customer groups and segmentation so segmenting your customers for pricing product access and specific promotions so a lot of these features, the, the rest of these that we're going to be diving into really are built for more scaled up e-commerce stores. Uh, if you already have a good customer base or if you're already at a certain level of sales volume, then that is what these features are really targeted for. Uh, you have abandoned cart saver, right? So that will, you know, send customers a series of emails to complete the purchase. You have persistent cart. Uh, so it's save the shopping cart depending on whatever device they're on, uh, storing their uh, credit card information safely and secure. Uh, you also have Google customer reviews. So that's where you dive into uh, the higher level plan at the pro plan. Uh, you also have product filtering. Uh, so, you know, customers can easily dynamically filter their products based on product category. Uh, that's better if, you know, if you have uh, quite a large uh, catalog, you have custom product filtering. Now, when you get into multiple storefronts and managing them across multiple different brands, then that's where you get into the uh, enterprise level area. Uh, you also have different price lists uh, as well. So uh, then you have unlimited API calls. So if you have custom integrations, uh, that's more enterprise. Like I said, that's more if you're really running like quite a big enterprise business, then, then that's where you're going to look for that. Now, as far as the online sales limit, this is really important to know and understand when you're comparing the different big commerce plans, because this is really, if you're already an established business, this is really the cutoff point where you're like, okay, well, if I'm going to migrate here, this is the sales, uh, you know, cap that you have on a trailing 12 month basis. Uh, so that's really going to determine, Hey, you know, maybe you have to jump up plans or, or go to this certain plan. So they have up to 50 K. Uh, on the standard plan, then you have up to 180k on the plus plan and up to 400k on the pro plan with little asterisks as well. Uh, so that is really the online sales caps is something to consider depending on what plan you, you know, need to go with. Uh, as far as service and support, you have tech support across all of them, of course. And then you have, you know, express support if you're an enterprise because you're paying them a lot more money. Now, another aspect as far as saving money necessarily, depending on your total transaction volume, uh, you also have certain uh, special credit card rates on Braintree uh, that you are listed as follows currently. Uh, and like I said before, no transaction fees to use all the different payment gateways that they have available within big commerce. So that is the other aspect there with payment processing. 
Uh, and once again, I do want to remind you guys that first link down in the description box below will take you right over to a big commerce 15 day free trial. Uh, if you want to get signed up today, that does support the channel. Uh, and that is brendanvaleski.com forward slash big commerce. So now diving into the enterprise pricing uh, as well. This is if you're looking at doing enterprise, then you do need to request a quote from them. Um, because it is specialized pricing depending on the total sales volume, the size of your business. You get pretty much everything that big commerce has to offer uh, as far as anything that, 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 that you may need that will get you there with the enterprise plan. Now, you're going to be paying, of course, definitely more than, than those uh, other plans here uh, that are listed in the uh, big commerce essentials. Uh, a product offering. So Big Commerce Enterprise uh, gets you quite a bit more uh, bigger brands. You know, if that's what you're looking for, uh, then you can get a quote based on you know your online revenue. Uh, as you can see, lots of different big brands do use Big Commerce. Uh, but you know, if if that's bigger than what you need, and maybe you're just a beginner looking to get started with your Big Commerce e-commerce store, or if you're looking to migrate, maybe your smaller business, then all you really need is the essentials. Um, as far as the pricing goes, you don't need anything, anything beyond that. Uh, so yeah, that's really how the cost breaks down for big commerce guys. If you found this video helpful, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well. So you're notified whenever I upload a new video guys, if you want to get your 15 day free trial, that is the first link down in the description box below. So you can get started selling online with big commerce. Guys, that's all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.